Hello my, hello, my name is Lingus and today I'd like to talk to you about a disease known as pelvic adhesion and how it causes corpus luteum insufficiency, which means low progesterone secretion and that can lead to recurrent miscarriages. So pelvic adhesion is very similar to Asherman's syndrome, which is intrauterine adhesions. So pelvic adhesion means that there are many uh, fibrous scar tissues that are forming in the pelvic cavity. So it causes the organs and other tissues in the pelvic cavity to stick together. So some of the organs that uh, in the organ uh, in the pelvic cavity include the fallopian tube and the ovaries. So pelvic adhesion is usually caused by some sort of trauma, bleeding, or injury due to some sort of surgery in the pelvic region. It can also be caused by an infection in the pelvic region. So as part of the healing process, these scar tissues start to form and they form thick fibrous of adhesion bands. So pelvic adhesion, once they cover the ovaries or fallopian tubes, they start to affect their functions. It affects the quality of the egg cells produced by the ovaries, and it affects the development of the corpus luteum and causes obstruction in, during ovulation. So as we all know, corpus luteum insufficiency or underdeveloped corpus luteum will cause low progesterone secretion especially during a pregnancy, this is very dangerous because it is not good for the sustaining of a healthy pregnancy. So with these factors combined, it can lead to a potential fetal demise or recurrent miscarriage. Some of the symptoms of pelvic adhesions include discomfort during intercourse, uh, discomfort or swelling of the pelvic region, constipation and so on. Diagnosis can be done in anti-hospital using 3D laparoscopy and hysterocelpingography to take a look inside your pelvic region and identify where the scar tissues are. And treatment includes using the 3D laparoscopy to identify them and then remove them. Furthermore, we will also apply our specialized anti-adhesion bio-barrier to prevent these adhesions from coming back. Now, if you'd like to find out more details about this disease and its comprehensive treatment, Please refer to the article below.